It's been a big two weeks since the last Flat Earth meme debunking, with the total solar eclipse taking centre stage. So I think it'd be very apt if we did a Flat Earth meme solar eclipse special. This is debunking Flat Earth memes. Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Debunking Flat Earth Memes with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today though, a quick thank you to the sponsors of this video, Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with the audience, and sell anything from products to content to time. All in one place, all on your terms. You can start a completely personalized website with the new guided design system, Squarespace Blueprint. Choose from professionally curated layout and styling options to build a unique online presence from the ground up tailored to your brand or business and optimized for every device. You can easily launch your website and get discovered fast with integrated optimized SEO tools so you show up more often to more people and grow the way you want. And if you have a shop, you can make checkout seamless for your customers with simple but powerful payment tools, accepting credit cards, PayPal and Apple Pay, and in eligible countries offer customers the option to buy now and pay later with Afterpay and Clearpay. And you can measure your end-to-end -end online performance with powerful website and seller analytics. You can get insights on top traffic sources, understand how your reach is growing, track sales metrics, and learn where to focus new engagement. It's all the data you need to scale your brand or business, fully integrated and clearly displayed. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash simandan to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Okay, on with today's video where we have two flat earth solar eclipse memes to look at. The recent solar eclipse has captured the imagination of so many people, not least the flat earthers who have come out in force to try and refute it. And one meme I saw was this beauty. This was popped in the comments of one of my shorts on Facebook and it's a real doozy. Let's take a closer look. If an eclipse, good spelling, is a result of the moon passing in front of the sun, we would see this. The sky would not go dark because the sun is behind the moon and would still light up the sky and the earth would still reflect enough ambient sunlight to light up the general moon features. This phenomenon has nothing to do with the moon. Observe, think and really see what you see, not what you are told to see and believe. Well, what a load of nonsense that was. Where do we even start? Okay, first off, let's look at what actually happens during an eclipse. When the moon casts a shadow, it is split up into two parts, the umbra and the penumbra. All objects have umbras within their shadows. If you were stood in an umbral shadow, you would not be able to see any of the light source causing the shadow. In the case of the moon, which by the way is always casting a shadow into space, every now and again, because of the way the moon's orbit is orientated, that shadow will strike the Earth's surface. Now as that shadow passes over the surface, the umbra of the shadow does too. And if you just so happen to be in the path of that umbra, you will experience a total solar eclipse. Now, the other part of a shadow is called the penumbra, and that is where you can still see some of the light source behind the object. Now, if you're in the penumbra only, then you will see a partial solar eclipse, not a total one. And how much of the sun's disk is covered is, of course, depending on where you are in that penumbra. Here is a lovely photo taken from the ISS where you can clearly see the dark umbra in the middle and the less dark penumbra around it. But how does all that affect the sky? Well, the flat earth meme is insinuating that there should be enough light still to make the sky blue. Unfortunately, not only do uh, flat earthers not understand eclipses, they also don't understand Rayleigh scattering or anything for that matter. When the moon passes in front of the sun and you're standing in the umbra, it blocks out the sun's light, including the direct sunlight which illuminates Earth's atmosphere. Now our blue sky is caused by the nitrogen in our atmosphere scattering the sun's light, a phenomenon called Rayleigh scattering. Now this is most efficient at shorter wavelengths of light, i.e. blue light, which is why the sky appears blue. However, during a solar eclipse, the amount of light directly reaching the Earth's surface in the umbra is significantly less, which means it cannot be scattered as much. In fact, there's so little light left to maintain that blue color, then the sky looks dark, as in nighttime. 
If you are in the penumbra, where only part of the moon is blocking the sun, then there is still enough direct sunlight available to be scattered and the sky remains blue. By the way, notice that that mean does not tell us what it thinks causes the solar eclipse on a flat Earth, it just tells us that it can't happen on a globe Earth. Well, what of the second meme? Should we have a look at that one too? Here we go. Just admit it, shadows don't work like this. Shadows don't do this. A total solar eclipse debunks the sphere Earth model. Close sun, penumbra, umbra, close sun, but when they do, globe gobblers prove the sun and moon are close. The sun far away, casting a shadow. Still interesting, by the way, that there's no explanation on the physical processes that would cause a solar eclipse on a flat Earth, but hey. And this one is actually pretty easy to debunk. Let's take a look at a ball casting a shadow on my globe. This is not to scale, of course, but you'll see my point. Look what happens when the light source is close to the ball. And then look what happens as I move the light source further away. The shadow gets smaller. Let's remember as well that the sun, the light source, is far bigger than the moon. And it is very, very, very far away. So shadows do work like that, I'm afraid. Well, there we go. Another couple of memes, flat earth memes, eclipse specials debunked. If you see any flat earth eclipse memes on your social media travels, then please do link this video underneath it so they can see the real science. But we're now all done and debunked on another one. Thanks so much for watching. If you've seen any flat earth memes you want me to look at, then send them over to me at simandan at gmail.com and I'll put them on the list. As I said, thanks so much for watching. It is truly appreciated. If you enjoyed it, then consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, and if you really, really enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button too. And of course, share the video as well if the feeling takes you, it would be hugely appreciated. Just enough time to once again thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Remember, head to squarespace.com for a free trial and then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash simandan and you get that 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website. I've been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a great couple of days and I'll see you all on Friday for the return of CC, Chris from New York, West... I've got to stop saying the whole thing. It's CC. He's a flat earther and he's not happy again. See you then. <laughs>